Paul Mark. And all of us at the Walt Disney Company are proud to be hosting this fantastic celebration, which will make dream, countless dreams come true as it spans our many parks and resorts all over the globe. Thank you all for being part of this special dream. And now, it's my pleasure and honor to introduce the CEO of the Walt Disney Company, Michael Eisner. Good morning, everybody. Our 50th anniversary is a legendary milestone in Disney history, one that can only be represented by a true Disney legend. That is why I am proud and honored to announce that a very special individual will be joining our celebration as the Disneyland Honorary Ambassador for the Happiest Homecoming on Earth. With a prestigious and award-winning career of many classic, touching, and comedic roles, this remarkable entertainer has brought happiness to millions throughout her career and her artistry. Today, Families love her as the queen of Genovia in the Disney film, The Princess Diaries. But there is one special role that will forever set her among the most beloved of our stars as a true legend of Disney. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to welcome a world-class star and an award, an Academy Award winning actress, our very own Mary Poppins, the very gracious and incredibly talented Julie Andrews. Thank you, Michael, and good morning to all of you. What a beautiful day. It is a joy for me to serve as the honorary ambassador for the 50th anniversary of Disneyland, and I am delighted to be associated with this momentous occasion. I have so many fond memories of Disneyland, but one that I will cherish forever is the thrill I felt when seeing Disneyland for the very first time for I had the best guide and the best host, Walt Disney himself. Walt had been showing me the storyboards for Mary Poppins at his studio, and he invited me to come and spend the day at Disneyland, and what a day I had. I'll never forget Walt's boyish enthusiasm as he pointed so many things out to me, and when we reached the Swiss family Robinson tree, which isn't there anymore, but it was then, he remarked that it had over three million leaves on its branches, all handmade, and with that special twinkle in his eye, he added, and they say only God can make a tree. <laughs> he did. Disneyland was Walt's gift to people the world over, and I look forward this year to celebrating this unique national treasure with everyone who has ever been touched by its magic. It's with family and friends that we make our fondest memories. These special times are why the magic comes alive when you visit Disneyland. We come here to our childhood fantasies, we revisit old dreams, and we make new ones come true. We bring our children, we feel like kids again ourselves, we open our hearts, and the magic begins. Who knows where a dream might lead? One wish may be all you need. There's no desire too great, no horizon too far. Who knows how a dream might soar? You'll find all you're looking for if you never give up wishing on a star. The journey begins when you trust your heart. The magic you need is right there inside you. Believe in yourself and watch the magic star. Watch it
special occasion. We hope to see you again just one year from today as we officially begin the happiest celebration on earth. Until then, please enjoy the rest of your day here at the happiest place on earth.